In this presentation, I'm going to introduce you to the Task API, a key capability that enables you to interact with MicroStrategy programmatically. The Task API is a set of MicroStrategy platform capabilities that are invoked by HTTP. These services are particularly valuable when MicroStrategy is embedded into a third-party web application. For instance, from your application, you may wish to do things like silently log users into MicroStrategy so that they don't see a login pop when analytics content is loaded, automatically create users in MicroStrategy when they are created in the web application, retrieve and render MicroStrategy folder content and present them to the user in a customized manner, retrieve actual report data and render it via a third-party UI framework. You can also create custom tasks using the MicroStrategy Web SDK as well as wrap any MicroStrategy task into a REST or SOAP envelope. Let's look at a quick demo. For this demo, let's pretend there's a user in my web portal, and I need to retrieve report data and render it for her. The portal needs to log in the user and retrieve the report data. I'm going to show you how that process will work using a parameterized UI that we provide for developers called the Task Administrator. The Task Administrator homepage contains all of the tasks that MicroStrategy provides out of the box, as well as their descriptions. If I'm interested in learning more about a task, I can go to the Parameters page. Here, I can see all of the parameters that the task accepts as input. For the login task, I need to provide the server, the user ID, and the password. It's worth noting that you can also create a custom login task that uses a custom token rather than a password. In the Builder page, I can select the login task and the task envelope and content type. I'm going to choose the JavaScript UI task envelope, and the default task content type for that is JSON. Now I'll enter all the parameters that I need for the login task. Now that I'm done with the parameters, I can update the URL. This is the exact syntax I would have to post to get my encrypted session ID back. This session ID is used to maintain state for the user. I'm going to copy this session ID and use it in another task, the report execute task. The report execute task allows me to retrieve data for a specific report. There's some parameters in addition to the session ID that I need to add. One of them is the actual ID of the report, which I'm going to grab from MicroStrategy Web. So I'll go ahead and paste in the report ID and some additional parameters that specify the format of the returned report data. So now I'll update my URL. Once again, that's what I could pose to get my data back in my website. And here's what I would get back. The data has a style sheet, although I don't need to use that. In fact, I won't. And then there's the actual markup for the report data. So I'll go ahead and copy the table. I'm going to quickly put the table into a SQL formatter so we get a better sense of what it looks like. And now I'm going to go ahead and copy this content into a web page. Here's my web page. I'm going to go to my HTML editor and copy in the table. I'll save it. I'll take another look at the web page, and now we're done. So, what we've done is logged in a user, retrieved report data, and presented that report data to the user in my own web page with my own formatting. Thank you for viewing this session on the Task API 
and seeing how it can be used to support embedded applications.